Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to discuss the question uh, you are seeing right now on the screen. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me uh, using any of these lines. All right, so the question says the object in the diagram below has the mass 40 kg. Uh, calculate the magnitude of the tension T1 and T2 uh, in the supporting wires. So this one is straightforward. You can either okay. The first thing you you have to do whenever uh, whenever you are you are solving any physics question is to draw a free body diagram. So for this free body diagram, we're going to have this uh, tension which we're calling uh, T1. Then we also have another tension we're going to call T2. And then we also have um, the mass here, which is. Uh, uh, 40 kg so this 40 kg when you convert it to weight we know that weight is given by mass times gravity then the mass is 40 then if we take the gravity to be 10 or let's say maybe we take it 9.8 so if we take 9.8 as the gravity uh, 9.81 as a gravity so 9.81 uh, times 40 the answer will be 392 392.4 so this is the uh, the weight so I'm going to say 390 uh, let me do this so the weight is 392.4 newtons so I'm going to resolve uh, these tensions into their components so I have the X component of T2 and the Y component of T2. And then I also have the X component of T1 and the Y component of T1. This is a 90 degrees, that is a 90 degrees. So from there, we can now uh, find the summation of forces in the X and the summation of forces in the Y. Okay, so using Sokator, we can get these components. So from the word Sokator, from this memonic weight, so at all, we can get something from there to get our components here. So we have this angle here, which is uh, uh, we have this angle here, which is uh, 80 degrees. Then we also have this angle there, which is uh, uh, which is 30 degrees. So from just these two, we can. Uh, uh, from these two angles, we can use these two angles in order to find uh, the components. So I can use them directly as they are. If I want, I can. Um, if I want, I can use these angles, which makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to use the same angles instead of using these. Yeah. So the answers will still be the same, except that where we need to use cos, maybe we're going to be using sine, because in this case we are used to the fact that. Um, uh, the x component is usually adjacent to the angle and as a result of that and, and I mean and as a result we always use a uh, cos we, all, we always use cos in the x but in this case we're going to use sine because to find the ad to, to find this um, uh, side here the x component you know that if we use this angle this side will be the opposite of this so if it's the opposite it means that we are using sine because sine is the one which has the opposite and the hypotenuse. So we say sine 80 is equal to um, um, the opposite, which is uh, T2 in the X. So I say T2 in the X over the hypotenuse, which is just T2. So to make T2 X the, uh, the subject of the formula, we're going to have T2 in the X. Um, is equal to we get t2 sine 80 so this is what we're going to have as our x component same applies to this one uh, uh, t1 t1 in the x will also just be equal to t1 sine 30 why am i saying sine 30 because um this i'm using 30 and this angle is opposite to the uh, to, to the x component of uh, this uh, t1 this tension one 
So okay, so let's get the summation of forces in the x. So it's the summation of forces that are in the x are simply sim are simply supposed to add up to zero. So summation of forces in the x, the first one that we have is t2 sine 80, which is facing towards the positive. So we get it the way it is, t2 sine 80. Then we also have this other one, which is uh, t1, t1 in the x. So t1 in the x is t1 sine 30. So we say negative because it's facing towards the negative. So negative t1 sine 30. Then we say this is equal to zero. So you can make one of these uh, the subjects. So we say t2 is equal to t1 sine 30. Everything divided by sine 80. T1 sine 30 everything divided by sine 80. Yeah, so when we do the division, we are going to have 0 0.5 as our so we're going to have uh, 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.51 T2. So T uh, sorry, not T2 but T1. So our T2 is just going to be equal to 0 0.51 T1. This is what we're going to have as our T2. And then from there we can now find um, the other, I mean the summation of forces in the y. So it says summation of forces in the y should also add up to zero. Then these forces in the y, when you look at the y component of um, uh, the y component of t1, let me start with t1. The y component of t1, it's facing up, but when you look at it, it's adjacent to 30. So since it's adjacent to 30, it means that we're going to use um, cos. So we're going to say t1 cos 30. Then we also have this one, which is also adjacent to 80. So we're going to say positive because it's facing up. Positive t2 uh, cos 80 is equal to, rather, we also have this one here, the weight, which is 392.4. So we say this one is facing down, so it's a negative, negative 394.2. All these forces are supposed to add up to zero. So because the, the system is in equilibrium. So we take this 394.2 to the other side of the equal sign. So and then while there's T2, I'm going to put 0.51 T1. So I have T1, so cos 30, when you find cos 30, Cos 30, the answer is 0. Point, uh, it's 0. Point, okay, let me just write it. So cos 30, the answer will be 0. 0.88, I mean 866. 0. 0.88, T1, then we have plus, then we have T2. So T2 cos 80, so cos 80, um, so while this T2 we can replace with 0 0.51 times T1 and then we have cos 80. So cos 80, this one is simply just um, 0 0.1736. So we have 0 0.1736. And then we take this negative 394.2 to the other side of the cosine. So we're going to have 3 94.2 to the other side then we multiply this part here when you multiply this and that you are getting um, when you multiply that times 0 0.51 the answer is uh, 0 0.088 and then you also have to add it to you also have to add it to 0 0.866 uh, so when you do the addition you are getting 0 point Nine five four, uh, zero point nine five four uh, six, and then T one is equal to three nine four point two. So we divide everything by zero point nine five four six, zero point nine five four six. So the value of T one will therefore be equal to. Let me write them here. 
So T1 will therefore be equal to this one and that one will cancel. So it's a 394.2 divided by answer. The answer is 412.96. The answer is 412.96. Then to find T2, T2 is 0 0.51 times T1. So we multiply that by 0 0.51 which gives us um, 210.6 so t2 is simply just 210.6 200 or rather yeah 210.61 uh, newtons so t1 is 412.96 newtons and then t2 is um 210.61 newtons so this is exactly how you solve such a question all right so in case i've made any mistakes uh as i'm calculating as i'm doing the calculations what you should just know is that the procedure is correct the procedure is 100 percent correct all you just need to do is to be accurate when when getting the figures so um make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel my name is hampton and um if you have any questions feel free to ask me on any of these lines on the screen and if you are, if you you need or you want me to help you to be helping you in physics and mathematics feel free to contact me yeah i'm offering tuitions in physics and math my name is Amtet. shalom